Welcome to another video. So today I did this dramatic purple glittery eye um, and I did collaborate with the beautiful Sarah Sahara. I'll put her Instagram name right here. I did to do it like purple looks, incorporate purple and do a day versus night. So she did the day and I did the night. So yeah, definitely go check out her YouTube. She is awesome and beautiful and talented, and she will show you an awesome daytime purple look. So if you like what you see, just keep watching. Mmm, sorry, it's horchata. Sopa, horchata. So yeah, I just want all the focus to be on the eyes, but I'll show you guys my whole face when I'm done with the video. So yeah, let's get started with the eyeballs. So you need to prime your eyes a whole heck of a lot because we're using glitter and it's um, purple so purple is kind of an intense color so you definitely don't want to see any creasing or anything because you will see it in a color like purple or black or anything you know deep toned. I use the Tarte 360 primer because it is a serious primer it's one of the strongest primers that I have. We're going in with a glitter glue too. Then set that primer We'll go in with like a grayish undertone, like brownish transition color today since we're working with purple. It is, I would say, a neutral color. It's not warm or anything. So that's why we want to use like a grayish undertone for our transition. I'm gonna go in with, I'm gonna mix Natural Beauty and Power Player in the Tartlet Powder palette. I love this for transition shades just because it's such a neutral palette. So we'll go in with that one and that one. We'll mix those two together because power player is a little bit too gray. Oh, first you want to put some tape on. And just place the tape however you would work your wing liner, if that makes sense. Mine's usually much more straighter because if I bring my tape up too high, my eyes don't widen up. You can go in with your transition shade and bring the transition shade pretty high this time. Not in your crease, but right above it. And then just kind of wing that out as you get closer to the tape. And go in very, very light handed. But just to darken up the crease, we're going to take this color by Urban Decay. It is called Flash. It's just a beautiful purple, just a basic purple. You want to take like a dome kind of shape brush. Since you want it mainly focused in the crease, you don't want something fluffy so then it just goes everywhere. So take that, kind of hold your brush upwards and just pop that right into the crease. from the Vice 2 palette Voodoo, which is like a shimmery dark purple, that one right there. And you'll want to take a shader brush. And this one we're gonna put in the outer V of our eye. And we'll start from the outer V of the corner of the eye and work the shadow in and just tap it. You just want to pat and work your color in and this will create a nice flawless transition on your lid from the glitter to the color. I, I don't like to just put glitter on and call it good. I like a little color underneath so I'm just going to take that same color flash and just pop a little bit on my lid and just use a flat shader brush. This also helps like that darker purple we put on the edge blend. Now the glitter. NYX glitter in the shade, um, doesn't have a name, it's GLI, I think, 11. It's just a purple, oh, it's violet. <laughs> and then I'm also taking the NYX glitter glue primer. So I'm gonna put a little bit of this glitter glue 
all over my lid first. I'm gonna put a little bit on my brush so it sticks, the glitter sticks onto it when I put it in. Yeah, and I'm doing the glitter before the face because you will get a lot of fallout. And I just kind of want to darken up the V a little bit, so I'm just going to put just the tiniest amount of black in the outer V. Let's use the black shade in the Tartlet palette. This one's Fascini Fashionista. So now you can take the tape off, wipe off any excess glitter you have on your base because there will be some. You're going to find that everywhere now. So now we can put on lashes. I'm going to use the Ardell Glamour lashes. They're long, but they're not thick, so you, you can still see your eyeshadow. Sorry guys, but on my bottom lashes, I forgot to film. I put Voodoo from the Vice 2 palette. Um, I tight-lined it with an angled brush, and then I took Flash by Urban Decay with the pencil brush and I smudged it out on the bottom lash line. So then I'll just go ahead with the Marc Jacobs fine liner and then tight line my top lashes and my bottom. And then just uh, mascara on the bottom lashes. All right, so that's the finished look. I like it for being purple, you know? Purple's kind of a scary color. So yeah, make sure to check out Sarah's YouTube to see her daytime purple look. If you're into the purple, she did daytime, I did nighttime, like I said. So yeah, definitely head over there. Check her out, give her a thumbs up, subscribe, because she's pretty freaking awesome. And yeah, I hope you guys really enjoyed it, and I'll see you next time. Bye.